Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings season preview with me Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report as always we want to adhere to the risk disclaimer. Most pertinent for today's presentation is the fact that the views and opinions expressed by me are solely mine. They are not indicative or representative of those held by Tickmill UK or Tickmill Europe Limited. Okay, so today we are looking at Tesla. Tesla are set to announce earnings after the close of trade in New York today. The market is looking for an earnings per share of $1.00. One cent with revenue of 22.005 billion. I would note there is an earnings whisper on the street that uh, we could see an earnings per share of one dollar and nine cents. Uh, from a metrics perspective, the most important thing obviously for Tesla is vehicle production. As the company's primary business is making electric cars and it needs to continue expanding production to grow revenue and profits. It has become harder to increase production levels amid the uh, supply chain concerns and issues that the, uh, the globe has been facing really. And as the production levels grow, Tesla says it faces new logistic challenges as well, including the difficulty of securing new vehicle transportation capacity at a reasonable cost. This could slow down deliveries and offset gains by increased production and sales. Tesla's vehicle production has slowed due largely to these factors, though a turnaround may be in progress. The car maker announced that it produced 365,923 vehicles for the third quarter fiscal year 2022, which is up 53.9% uh, year on year. This figure surpassed analyst predictions. It represents a slight slowdown in vehicle production growth year over year relative to uh, Q3 fiscal year 2021, which posted 64% year over year increase in vehicles made. But to be sure, it is a sharp increase on a sequential basis as a 25.9, 25.3% uh, year over year improvement in vehicles uh, produced was reported for the second quarter of 2022. So let's take a look at some of the stock trading patterns that uh, we have seen around earnings releases for Tesla. Uh, noticeably, Tesla shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings six out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved up 1.4% in the first day of trading after the company's results. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Tesla is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 0.8%. On average, the stock has moved higher by 3.5% one week after earnings. From a volatility perspective, the options market is pricing in at 8.5% potential move on the earnings release, and the stock has averaged a 6.1% move in recent quarters. From a sentiment, and options perspective, there's been 63,392 contracts uh, purchased on the two, $230 call expiring this Friday. However, options flow in general has been bearish. Investor sentiment going into the earnings has 57.8% of analysts expecting an earnings beat. Uh, Tesla's share price has drifted down 19% post its last announcement. Uh, using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings Announcements is 32.4%. Let's pull up the Tesla chart and see if we can identify some trading levels or opportunities uh, as we come into this earnings release. So from my perspective, if we think about that $230 call, we've got a, re a local high at 229 there, pulled back yesterday. So I'd be looking for any break through that 230 level to engage on the long side. And my target would be an equality objective versus this current swing structure and the swing low here at 217. That gives us 242 on the upside. That also coincides with weekly projected range resistance and the weekly R3. So that's a nice target to have in mind. If we can take out that uh, 230, I will be looking to engage on the long side, targeting that 242 as the next upside objective. However, if for whatever reason we get a, an earnings report that disappoints the markets and an unfavorable reaction, any move back down through the lows at 203, I want to engage on the short side, targeting a move down to test the 187 to 185 handle. Now from there again, I would be watching for any bullish reversal patterns to uh, think about re-engaging at that level 
uh, for a potential uh, more significant corrective move to play out. Further updates to follow, but as always traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.